Good evening, Mr. Chairman. I'm Tom Getzendanner, a retired Summit Councilman, now representing the local Taxpayers Association. I congratulate the freeholders on facing their structural imbalance and making real change to county government. Taxpayers can no longer afford a workforce of 2,900 full-time staff with all the attendant pension and medical benefit costs. So we do applaud the decision to privatize Arnold's Hospital. Uh, it's definitely going to keep it in business instead of closing it down for, for lack of Medicaid reimbursements, which I think is a very blessed thing to do. Every town in the county has residents in this facility and needs to see it remain vital, viable, even though the ownership changes. So you're doing the right thing. But this, that step alone is not going to be sufficient to control property taxes to the degree of the surrounding counties. For example, let's realize that Morris County is holding their levy flat for the second year in a row. Even Essex County is limiting themselves to 1.5%. Uh, so other amendments, I think there is a resolution R300 tonight which does do some budget amendments. Other amendments should be introduced tonight that merge the county police into the sheriff's office and rationalize jail operations. And if that alone is not sufficient to reach the 2% nominal cap, which your constituent towns are all observing voluntarily, then do please focus on the other component of county taxation, namely open space. Its current statutory 1.5% earmark collects around $10 million a year. That's twice the amount envisioned when it was enacted 13 years ago. I believe 318 acres have already been preserved versus your goal, stated goal, of only 100 acres per decade. So your mission has been accomplished three times over. Don't feel you need to keep going. Why not take the roll call vote tonight, offering Mr. Fela just six million incremental revenue taxes rather than this 13.2 million which is what's on the books and what we're talking about tonight we uh if you could do this i think by obviating the need for a ballot referendum if you simply declare a fiscal emergency point out that your open space trust fund is currently well overfunded well well overfunded and temporarily temporarily suspend half of its statutory collection rate so that mr chairman the purpose is to have your all-in levy, that would be the freeholder board, the director's operating budget, as well as the open space tax, doesn't grow more than $6 million in incremental fresh tax revenues under any condition. Please join the austerity that all your constituents' towns have adopted long ago. Thank you.